Hello, 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 and welcome, Mago Maniacs, to the second episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, first off, I'd like to apologize for the, uh, for the state of the last episode. I didn't realize just how strenuous the performance wa was going to be on OBS. As you may have seen at the beginning there, I, I had just finished fiddling around in the settings, trying to fix it, and I guess, uh... Because before, when the refresh rate was at 144Hz, Streamlabs was using 100% of my GPU, <laughs> which was not good. Um, I mean, like, the game was fine. I didn't see any frame problems on the game, but obviously, the state, considering the state of Episode 1... There was there was a lot of hiccups, and I'm I, I apologize for that. I hope you stick through that first part and came back for episode two. Sorry, I, I probably should have uh, done more testing in advance. Uh, but yeah, we got that. I think we got that sorted out because so far it's a minute in, and I don't see any sort of frame skipping issues. Being reported in OBS, I don't, as far as I can tell, my, uh, my print, my, my GPU usage has gone from 100% down to only like 65%. I think we should be okay. So, last episode, we were looking for John Marston. Well, I know he's John Marston, the protagonist from Red Dead 1. But up till now, he's only really been referred to as John. And Javier had just stopped us. Javier Esquera had just stopped us to uh, alert us to some tracks. So let's uh, let's go get into the game. Hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye on the uh, on the streamlabs, and hopefully, we won't see any more skipped frames. Cause that would be a shame, because I've been wanting to do this for a very long time now. Alright, let's go. Alright, there's some tracks leading to the river. Let's inspect the camp. Alright. Hmm. You think it's John? Hmm. You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Well, that's true. It's not like horses have like different tire treads or anything. What really happened on that boat? We had the money. It seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. God damn. Goddamn Pinkertons. I don't really like feds. I'm not. A, I'm not a government guy. So. Uh, killed a girl in a bad way, but it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Killed a girl in a bad way. Continue along the cliff wall here. I wanted to hear more about what happened on this boat. Now, what is this? Well, okay. I guess this is the uh, beginning of the descent into madness of Dutch Vanderland. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Only just, huh? Bad business, all right. <laughs> Damn snow's coming in hot again. Oh, I hate snow. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. All right, sweet. It doesn't look like there's any frame drop issues anymore. So things should be fine now. Again, I'm sorry about episode one. Thankfully, not much happened, but, uh... That was still some bad first impressions, so I'm sorry about that. Alright. I remember the beginning of this game was kind of a uh, snooze fest, too. It, it, take, it takes a minute. It takes a minute. It's kind of setting the mood. But, like, which I'm fine with when I'm playing by myself. When I'm trying to, like... When, I, when I'm trying to do something for YouTube, you, yeah. you gotta balance it out with fresh snow here. 
you know, like, oh, what's happening on screen? Not a whole lot. Now we're gonna make jokes. But at the same time, you know, you kind of want to, kind of want to listen and get into the atmosphere and all that. It's yet another one of those differences between playing a game for yourself and playing a game for entertainment. You know what I mean? I guess some some people like like a calmer, no jokes, YouTuber. I don't know. I, I make jokes when I'm nervous, so I guess I'm not that not that guy. Ah shit. That's a. He's over here. Come on, up there. Come on, I I already know. I heard him. He's up there. That's not a very smart idea, though. We could add a whole friggin' avalanche on top of us. And I wish I had some ice tea right about now. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Shotgun. Who knows what's up ahead? Well, that's true too. Ah, uh, let's see. Horse weapons. Oh, sawed-off shotgun. Okay. I would have ordered some uh, IC from like Instacart or something, but one it's expensive, and two the other day like my aunt was kind of shaming me for ordering that stuff. She's like, "You wait, you know, you got the money to go around ordering iced tea for delivery, huh?" I'm like, "Yeah, not really. I, I shouldn't, but I don't really want to walk to the store." And she's like, "Yeah, mm, Ritzy, yeah." But now I kind of feel ashamed. <laughs> uh, which I should, though, because it, it is way expensive. But the only place that has, like, the best iced tea, the 12 packs, is further walk than, like, the Walgreens. So I didn't really want to walk down there. There's a drop here. But, I, you know, I. Because the editing video and all this other stuff. Watch out here. So, uh, yeah, I'm just drinking water, which is probably Hang good because I'm a fat here. ass. Oh, there's the couch button. Yeah. Okay, from here. But I don't know. Watch your it's real slippery. My Stay stamina core is empty. Up here. Come on. Did I be worried about my stamina? Yep, here. Okay. Oh, that's the, oh, that's for horses. That sounds closer now. Come on. Okay, there we are. That's one thing is I don't really like the whole focus on realism, but like, I mean it's Red Dead, so I mean there's some good things about realism, but like, oh yeah, up and square. There's some good things about realism, but overall I prefer the Rockstar from like. San Andreas, Vice City, that sort of stuff. But, I don't know. This, like I said, there's some good things about it, but I, I prefer the old style. Let's keep moving then. Come on. I mean, there's nothing wrong with pursuing uh, artistry and lampooning like American society and all that John, where are you? through the lens of a video game. I get that they're trying to advance the medium or whatever, but you know you gotta remember that ultimately it's it's for entertainment, you know. He's down here. I know I know there's a couple other people that were put off by the more realistic approach to Red Dead and Grand Theft Auto in general. There's my boy. Never thought I'd say this, but that's how we got them you, scars. That's how we got them scars. Hell yeah! You don't look so good. I don't feel too good neither. It would be nice if they did an Undead Nightmare Two for this game, but they're not gonna, because you know, 
We got a multiplayer. I'll, I'll save this rant for afterwards. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? <laughs> can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Oh, you alright? I think so. Come on. Uh, Alright. This will lead us out. Walking off into the distance. Uh oh. Whoa! You see that? Wolves is. I guess it's a good thing I brought that shot off shotgun. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go. Draw him off. Let's play quick draw. Right. Come on. Let's get you on that horse. Where you at? Where you at? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Eat my ass. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me get some skins. Oh, I can't. I probably can't get any skins. All right. Yeah, I like. Red Dead 1, they had the Undead Nightmare DLC, right? That was cool. But, like, they're never gonna do it for Red Dead 2 because, you know, they got the, the they got the multiplayer component that they make money off of, so they're like, ah, oh, why make Don't DLC for single player when we can just, like, shit out a couple updates for multiplayer and just completely ignore the single player campaign? Just like they did with GTA Online. Like and so we get, like, less bite. with... So we got less. A fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. Now how the hell did somebody you die from getting died? bit by a dog an hour later? Not yet. I mean, like, I, I guess that's heavily location dependent. Like, if he got bit by a dog in the neck, then that's one thing. But like, a bite on the hand. They, these ain't zombies, John. Bam! <laughs> Get out of here! Like bam! Shit, there's more on the right. We got oh. more wolves on the left. Get out of hey, Wolfman! Eat shit! Oh fuck! Oh wait, I forgot wolves are dogs. So, uh, YouTube's YouTube's gonna be mad at me now. Okay. Y'all know I had to do it, right? Alas, poor John. You know? That's a good idea. We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, <laughs> damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. What the? What the? Nah, you can do better than that. One thing you ain't short on is fantasy. John is still just as sassy yeah, as he ever was. On. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Yeah, that ain't too bad. We saved John Morrison. Now he can go home and uh, fuck his wife and have a kid. We sa we saved we saved the time stream. No more uh, fish fish and mail paradox. Whatever it was from Metal Gear Solid Three. If he killed Revolver a lot. We got some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. Of course he's alive. We saved him. Ay, careful. It's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. 
Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Herr no. Strauss? That's civilization. I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <laughs> Yeah, I guess some men just don't deal well with civilization. And looking at our modern civilization, it's uh, yeah, easy to tell why. Weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Oddly. Good news! I don't see any skip frames on Streamlabs. So everything should be all right on your end. Everything's all right on my end. All right. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. Oh. Am I intruding? Continue playing to unlock your bonus content. Oh yeah, I bought the uh. What do you think? I feel like Arthur? the ultimate well, edition or whatever. On that boat, so hard to say, but I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. Yeah, but you don't want to. You want to minimize we had a bit being battle, shot at. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit and we go back to Blackwater and we get our money or we get some more money and we keep heading west but we're heading east for now for now all right this. we're safe i'm gonna go do other stuff stay strong jose oh what about you arthur you doubting me too no. i barely know you good because you know me son oh, I, I guess i'm supposed started. to know you though once we get some money well they I like his coat. I want his coat. Because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. I don't wonder how these get how these guys like Ooh, build up these cults of personality and like inspire all this faith by men who could be better, you know. Man, I don't know. Maybe Dutch was pretty badass before all this. Oh, the most I know of Dutch is what happened in Red Dead 1, so... Javier. Another cold morning. And Javier as well, of course. Of course, the prick we're going into to see. Bill Williamson. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Hi, the racist prick. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> Damn, Micah, you a dick. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop <laughs> it. Now. You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You. You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about All more right. than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the <laughs> right, right time, time to, to hit, hit a train. train. Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too <laughs> old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah. 
I like the touch, the nice touches on the voice act, and they like when when Arthur was smoking, like you could you could hear that the actual that the voice actor had something in his mouth that resembled a cigarette. I don't know, it, it seems pretty cool. It's ni nice attention to detail, we'll say. Can't wait to get into the open world and start shooting civilians. Hell yeah! <laughs> ah, fuck. What's that? Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. Hold on. We turn down the game audio a little bit more. As I can tell, the only fools out yeah, good enough. Them. They must be this way. Alright. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You Good know I got your back. back. Got your I back like a butt a long crack. Time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be <laughs> the damn old Driscolls. One way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. Oh, jeez. That's how this will end. And that's how a blood hey, feud boss. starts. One bad turn deserves another, and the next thing you know... Two men are at it until it death. Lake, so we must be close. But hopefully we'll put it all to bed Easy. now. I forget whether Como Driscoll himself's in this kerfuffle that we get ourselves in or not. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn... I've been ready. I've been born ready. Good. Let's go. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're going to head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Do we Mr. always Summers, have four people? Mr. Escuela, you two, I thought it was a s position here. Okay. Let's go. There's two more people than I thought there were with us. Where was I supposed to go again? I should have been listening, but I wasn't. Should I have taken my weapon? Wait, hold on. Hold on, let me go. I have a feeling I should have taken a weapon. I thought you were going with Dutch. Oh, I guess I don't Okay, that is my horse, right? Alright, right. Well, whatever. I'm going with Dutch. Maybe Dutch will give me a weapon. Alright, I should duck. We want to keep hitting. Because you never know. Right, what do we got here? We got a guy. We got some horse. We got another guy. We got more guys. A guy in a horse. A horse inside of a guy. There's all kinds of people there. So that's Como Driscoll himself. That highfalutin fur coated motherfucker. We're gonna go take his ass out. And then we're gonna turn him inside out and steal his coat, because I want that coat. Oh. I'm con controlling it. Okay. There's a guy he there. To? He don't seem very happy. No. Everything's just got okay. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. You just want to take your. Much less fun to rob him and his score if he never. Take your time with the revenge, huh? All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. 
Shouldn't we have just killed Como Driscoll and got it over with? Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. That's what I tried to do. <laughs> you boys be ready to pick them off from up there. Man, sure I talk playing this game, I'd be talking. My my old uh the old fake ass cowboy accents coming out. Seems easiest to I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Oh, all right, all right. Well, divide and conquer ain't a bad strategy. But if the leader's leaving camp, too, I mean, like, you cut off the head of the snake and the rest will fall apart, right? Well, whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll kill everybody. Eventually. Eventually. All right, come on. All right, where are we going here, Dutch? Dutch, I'm following you, so you gotta pick up the pace here. Oh, he is. He actually is. Okay. Da 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 da. All I wanna do is spew on you. Ba da da da. Watch out. It's a bit steep. Well, thank you, Dutch. I, I could see it, but thank you. I appreciate that you care for my well-being for as long as it takes for me to stop being useful to you. I don't trust him. But then again, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was John Marston was the one on the wrong side of history. It almost definitely was, come Maybe to think of it. I take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, <laughs> but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. You never quite know when you're going to die until you die. And then, uh, you know. Don't really... Sometimes you don't even know when when that happens either. Stay low. All right, all right. Relax. Come on, follow me. What's this regular? I don't know why it says regular there. Maybe I could select different ammo types later on. Oh, who they? So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We got everything we need. We don't have time to debate this. Okay, I'll go first. Bam! Got him. Come on, get in there. Boom. Oh, I took a bullet. I'm taking fire. Oh, I see. The bastard. Don't worry, Dutch. I got this. I'm taking the lead, right? Get 
Oh, Dutch are taking bullets too. Oh! Did I. Was that Javier? Did I kill Javier? I didn't mean to. Oh well. This is the pinnacle of Rockstar Games combat. Aim, move reticle up, shoot. Aim, move reticle up, shoot. Yeah. That's right. It's still fun though. It's not very deep. Wait, what? Can I literally not? Okay, that's all I wanted to do. How does this game not get that right? Like I'm holding left. And it goes in circles. Like, what the fuck? Ooh! Man. It's like I'm playing sli all. Sniper Elite. The bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize it? Ah, there we go. Of course not. Home doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. Ah, uh, that's... Even know half the names of these this is how he retains leadership. He talks bad about the other guy's people. Up, when he doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. Whoa! Whoa! Ow. There we go. Shit, there's a lot of them. What do you think, Arthur? Do we hold ground here or go after them? Reckon we're better holding here. All right, pick them off as they come out of the trees. Yeah, probably best defense. Whew. They got a beat on me. That's right. We've got the better position. They may have the trees, but our cover is a bit better, I, I would reckon. Ooh. I didn't know this was going to have a Sniper Elite kill cam here. I mean, it's not as cool as Sniper Elite, but it's still pretty badass. I don't know why my Earther keeps moving out of cover. Yeah, but I didn't even really use Dead Eye. Arthur, get over here. I'm sorry. I'm learning the game. Okay. Let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Okay. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Nice of you two to join us. Is everyone all right? I think so. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. The left. All right, man, okay. Find those That's not to the left. Anything you can. <laughs> this go. is to the right. I guess you meant from his left. But whatever. Alright, what do we got now? Ooh, cigarettes. Yeah, I can always use cigarettes. They sell for a lot. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Was Bill the demolitions expert? Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. Wow, okay. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. 
This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's odd first moving. name. Biblical and all that, but all right. still odd. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. Mr. Proud Leviticus. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Yeah. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you ain't get cold, but this head'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we'll see about that. We're gonna rob us a train. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Let him. Like all the rest. Let him come after us. Stay a step ahead of I'll them. shoot him. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Man, that's it. That is. All right. Oof. Dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. I can't quite get a beat on him yet. I can't. I can't tell for sure whether he's, you know, drinking his own Kool Aid or if he really believes all the stuff he's saying. Can't wait to learn more about Dutch. It's gonna be nice. He's kind of far away, you know. I, I don't know if we can get him from here. Tutorial. We gonna we gonna get him though. We gonna get him. What the hell did I do? You didn't do nothing. Ah, you'll be fine, you big baby. You're coming with me. Just let me go. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Let me get your stuff. This I'm gonna loot him first. Come on. I, I'm nobody, Mister. Yeah, two dollars forty-two cents. This guy was rich by by these days standards. I'm no use to you, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sorry, it's like one thirty in the morning right now. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name. How do you not know your You're name. Kieran, what? Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day. You, <laughs> this is a real bad day. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Save your breath for screaming. No, Jesus please. Christ. <laughs> oh, we are, are we are already going down the dark side over here. Alright, let's just let's just gallop back home. I hardly know him, huh? We'll see about that. Wait till we get your fingernails out of you. You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. <laughs> man, that, man, this guy took me a long way away. I've only been running with him a couple of months. Have a heart, mister. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> oh, Karen Duffy. Your mouth is gonna get you into a world hurt, my butt, my buddy. 
world of hurt. Kind of nervous about like overworking the horse. Like now that they added all these gauges and all this other stuff to it, I, I feel like I gotta be more conservative with my horse. Whereas like in Red Dead One, it's just like whatever, you know. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Da 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 da. Rearing with the horse. Oh. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Yeah, right. Nice. Huh. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up oh, so yeah, Uncle. safe. We get him hungry first. I gotta say, Uncle was my friend, in Red Dead 1, too. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. <laughs> I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Time enough. Now, I got to figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Now, I guess I got another mission to do. That one mission took like 42 minutes. Holy shit. I told y'all we were going to have... Longer episode times for this one. Oh, there's a ranking system, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I... Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> At least I got one. Complete the mission without taking any health items. How did I not get 15 headshots? It's like all I went for was headshots. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're not. We're not playing for any of that, anyways. We're just playing for store. I'm a story. I'm a story guy. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Pearson, we ain't gonna we're starve. Okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit for what? 10, 12 people. When I was in the Navy, I, I do not wish to hear about what you when got I up to. Was in the Navy, Navy. my mother was my sister. For fifty days, and you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting, I guess those guys are quartermaster. Shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. <laughs> Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. <laughs> Let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. I mean, kind of rest, right? <coughs> I'm the one going out shooting everybody. Well, then you guys get healed up. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. What the hell am I going to do with a bow and arrow? I imagine. Come on. No, I'm not way. one of them Native American fellas. I'm a gunslinger. Ugh. I guess gone are the days when I just 
drive my horse down the lane in Red Dead Redemption 1 and just shoot up a whole bunch of animals kind of offhand. Drive along. Riding along. Snake! Blam! Uh, <laughs> you know? Like, that's, that's how I hunt. Really got the hang of it. This one adds a whole fine. lot of systems on top, though. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Well, that's true. We'll head up this way. They need to eat just like we do. The goddamn animals. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. Nah, you good, Chuck. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I guess that's how things go in situations like that. Nobody knows nothing. This ain't exactly the information age, either. Ain't no cell phone recordings. Just gotta go by what you saw and what you heard. And for these guys that want a whole hell of a lot, I guess. I guess Arthur wasn't even there for that that heist. Yeah, see, that little cutscene there was it, it, the only purpose was for cinematic stuff. See some of the ground that tells you what here. Rockstar is into nowadays. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. I'm as quiet as I can be. Hey. Stop here a second. I see something. Whoa. What do you see, my friend? <sighs> Has deer been here recently? Right. How can you tell? How can you not? I'm just gonna learn tracking. We'll track them on spontaneously. Foot. Keep down. Move quietly. And slowly. All right, let's go deer hunting. You see the tracks? Uh, no. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Oh. Oh, now I see him. All right. Once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Okay. Once I get my eye in, huh? Well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Where are we at? There we are. the hell all right I don't really see him oh this way okay it's hard to see it see the the thing in the snow the even though it's flashing like for me it's hard to see I don't know if y'all know, but I'm basically blind. I mean, ooh. Wait, look. I mean, not legitimately. Not legally, but... 
Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Make good tension on the string before releasing. Just good shot. Got him. Can we skin that one first? Oh, I got a call. Oh, okay. Let's get my thing. Oh, the, it goes across. Oh, I see. That's where they are. All right, you skin that one. I'm going to go ahead. Because I was able to pick them up. Yeah, that's them then. Which way is my wind going? Okay. Uh oh. How the hell? <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. That wasn't meant to happen. Okay. We'll, uh. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Maybe I should have used the call. I didn't realize it was going to dip its head down. Oh. Alright, this way. Oh no, that still goes. Oh, that was the second one that was there, wasn't it? Oh, that's deer over there. I see them now, they're across the way. Okay. This time I can't miss. Oh yeah. The deer won't hear me going through the river. It's freezing to death. Nope, not at all. It'll be fine. I just want to study it. What the hell? Got it. Well done. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. One, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. You grab the one that's closer. I'll grab the further one. Got me white tailed deer. Hell yeah! With my horse. With my horse. Horse. Oh, there he is. Come here, horsey. Oh, look at that dead deer. Like, look at the way it moves. Waiting for the PC version was the right move. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Let's head back. All right, let's go, Charles. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. Well, that's true. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back. Says we've seen enough of that, but <laughs> I have a feeling. We should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak. And you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. 
They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Oh, that's true. It was a lot easier back in these days. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, <laughs> and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. It just got booze. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Oh yeah, the Except woman. Maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who All knows? Right. Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Watch out! Watch bear out for what? Ooh, a bear! We can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Alright. Well, I'll follow you then, Charles. I'll trust you with my life. And if this bear decides he wants to go around, Off the trail. I'll kick his dick. I'll kick that bear and his conky dongs. Good job. Don't worry, horsey. I got your back. We're not going to get eaten by the bear yet. Once I'm able to do more of my own hey, thing, we might get once. eaten by a bear. Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. <laughs> what? Any of this. Black water mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. This, this is gonna be a very no, awkward conversation. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. Oh, watch it. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch yeah. Is certainly different. Different is a word Treats for it. Fair. Yeah. Most of you do. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like God that. God damn, 20 years. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. You taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of them. Man, Dutch has been around the block, That's why huh? We need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Was it some sort of grooming or indoctrination, or was Dutch right. better back then? He'll do for now. 
I appreciate I don't you know. me take time the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. I gotta say, it's funner to drive cars. Faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm always, I'm always crashing and speeding in cars in GTA. But on horses, I mean, like, what what are you gonna do? Damn! Look at the look at the deer. It's all covered in snow. We're covered in snow. Damn. The attention to detail in the graphics is just. I mean, don't get me wrong, y'all know I'm not normally a graphics whore. You've seen all the games that I've played. But like, Christ, where there's some good graphics, I mean, like, I definitely appreciate it. Though it's far from, an, far from, uh, mandatory. Well, no, I, I like... I've got to have Just good graphics. But, like, there's a difference between, like, graphics and art design. I, what a surprise. To find a well, i got to have good visuals. In the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. As long as the game has good art design, I'm, like, into it. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot. Get lost. Well, see you gents later. I got to be a dick to Uncle. Fine. Uncle ain't bad. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? He's even got a red nose. Job for man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one that you dumped on the floor there. <laughs> <laughs> Where else was I supposed to dump it, Mr. Pearson? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, run, run. Damn, I didn't know them coat hangers could be used for that. Survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. A few days later, and I unlocked a Master Hunter challenge. Hell yeah! It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. <laughs> what a good combination. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, you just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Ooh. Of course I do, but. Look at you. <laughs> Look it's at you. Ugly Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. <laughs> Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Ah, oh, John, that's What's your kid. Don't be a dick. What that's little you? Jack. Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man. <laughs> Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? 
weather's breaking, we could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? It's for the money. I just to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we <laughs> need money. Everything we have in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway oh. magnate, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to I make guess we're going to be antagonizing a dangerous man. Ready. We have a train to rob! But, as much as I would love to do this, it's actually almost 2 in the morning, for one. And for two, we are way over episode time. We're, we're slightly over an hour. So, next time, we're going to rob this train from Leviticus Cornwall and continue the story of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm glad that, as far as I can tell, there ain't any frame drops going. So, hopefully, we'll have a smooth ride from here till the end of the game. No more, no more bullshit, uh, you know, uh, episodes like the first one. So, let me know down in the comments what you think. And, uh, yeah. I will see you later. Y'all have a good day, and peace out. Bye.